So here's the inside, here's the main board. First thing, let's check this fuse, I did that, it's okay. Still no power. Here's a rectifier. And you can test the voltage, they have a plus and a minus over there. You should get like very high voltage, but I'm not measuring very high voltage. So I'm thinking it's this relay here. That relay is G5PA-1, 15 volts DC. So there's this ceramic resistor here. This relay was working okay. What you could do was, if you have power, you should have like 170 volts across this rectifier right here, DC volts, right? And I wasn't getting that. And so I thought it was this relay. Now, this relay switch right here, it has four pins. This is the, um, it's normally open, but when 15 volts passes either way through here, through this coil, it turns on this right here, and then this goes to your rectif, uh, goes, sends your AC right here and here. Well, there's this 15 ohm, not 15 ohm, there's this, there's this 10 ohm resistor that the ceramic resistor is dead. And that's R6016. So I'm just replacing that and then when I plugged it in I do get the, the power on the rectifier. So let's plug this in and see if it works. So we can see the old ceramic resistor here. We'll just change it to resistance. And I'll show you the values that I was reading. It's basically an open circuit. I was getting no resistance on this guy right here. It should measure 10 ohms, measure nothing. So that's why it wasn't working. So don't throw away your perfectly good uh, LCD TV. They don't make these anymore. They're actually pretty good on your eyes and. It was just this one component, so measure on the rectifier, nothing, you know, just logical. Let's check this resistor, this uh, fuse is good, and then the only logical thing is it goes through there, so why well, wasn't it measuring any voltage? That blown resistor.